give them some value P raw. They want some value. I bought this, I'm gonna say not a while ago, a long time ago, but I've used it a fair amount, but it's one of them things which you buy, which unless it is out, you can't be bothered to use it. But it's easy to set up once you uh, suss it up. All we have, is you feed everything in the top there, grinds it all up, put your juice in there, and the pulp goes out in there. So what we've got is some ginger, some lemon, zzz, some carrots, and some celery. And we're just gonna fill up this Nalgene after being out on the bike for some hardcore training for a couple of hours and uh, enjoy it. See, this is what happens, you just go with it. I didn't plan on doing some juicing recently, but my body said, hey, throw us some juice, P. Raw. Sorry if that's a bit dark, but the beauty of this juicer is it gets the maximum extraction versus those centrifugal juices that basically just blast everything to heck. And uh, a lot of the juice is wasted. Like you can reuse the pulp to make burgers or something. That's something else. There's some videos on here somewhere. Like I've got a lot of videos on this channel. If you haven't noticed. So this machine is not the quickest. It's not the fastest. But who's rushing? Just start a little bit earlier, eh? I feel like there's people that say they're late for things. Well, just leave earlier. Simple. Gotta love the old Samson though. I think I paid around 200 quid for this. Money well spent, really. Ah! Only joking. Right. Sweet potato. Yes, you can juice sweet potato. Sweet potato? Keep talking, keep talking, because we got music on in the background. Look at those bumper carrots. Local, organic. But these are. These ones here, as you can see, but they're all right. They're only 45p a bag, so spend lots of money on one of them. It's cheap, cheap to run, people. Cheap to fuel up that ginger there, and stick all that bad boy in to make it nice and zingy, you know. There you go. We'll feed that to the pigs later on. So that's the ginger, and what we'll do with the ginger is we'll put it back in again because. Way more out of it. What's this? Wait for it. Look at that, look. Double ginger. Double ginger. Not funny for all you sick people out there. It's not funny, people. I might stick some of this at the beginning of the video. In this video, I think some S-H-I-T words are said. So if you get offended by that, don't watch. If you got little ones, they don't want to watch it. We'll have to put a, a child a child lock on it. That's what you've got to do now, people. Put your videos up, whether they're suitable for little ones or big people. So, some S-H-I-T. I mean, it's all what comes out of our bum bums, isn't it? You know? Also a lot of people's mouths. Anyway, welcome to P. Raw for however long, I don't know. Mozza, don't like Mozzas. See, this is gonna be a healthy video, but somewhere at a point in this video, do you see that? Nothing wrong with that, people. Just cut it off and mash it up. If you're bitching about that, you're the sort of people that, like, turn your nose up at soggy crisps or something. Like, who are you? Who are these people? There you go, folks. As a sort of uh, girth you want to be looking for. It's a substantial carrot, isn't it? Now, Gene Fuller, whoop ass. Check it out. What, what I call ditchy trees. They're just ditchy trees. They belong, like some people, they belong on the streets, you know, but they just belong in the ditch. They're just ditch trees. Not really worth much at all, you know. Not quality trees. 
a bit like some people, not quality people. Uh, we're on the change now between what I would say when all the colours, all the beautiful colours have gone and winter, well, I don't know, will it kick in? I had a couple, we had a couple of frosts the other day and now it's kind of quite mild. It is a bit chilly on the old mitts. We have, we have glove coverage, but haven't needed it yet. Need to eat them dates, you know, and eating food on the go with, with gloves on is uh, not easy. So we compromise. We got warm knees, <laughs> warm knees. Let me just, let me just emphasize on the knees. People that go out in bare legs because they think it's clever, because they think they're hard. Do you know what? You're gonna get like cold bones. That's not good for cycling. You need to have warm, warm bones, warm parts of your body. Like it's not good to go out bare legged once the temperature falls down to a certain, well, temperature. Check that sun out. So still though, and quiet when there's not any cars, but as a lot of people are probably experiencing at the moment, it's pretty pleasant out and about, isn't it? Due to all this uh, BS, and that's all I've got to say on that.